Let's talk to Felix. He might be able to help me out. Or... A hideous smell is coming from... What is that noise? Try the door handle. It's locked. Is anybody in here? Dear girl, I don't think it's a good time to enter right now. Aiden, is that you? What happened? Mr. Bennett decided to take up cooking. And right now, his cooking is destroying everything in sight. Ah, I see. I won't hinder you. Well, at least I figured out what the noise was. Because, God, it's loud. Wait, what's this? Nothing. Okay. Understanding maggots. Okay. Can we go? Oh, yeah. Let's just go to sleep, I guess. Good night, Seth. Oh, thank God. I can actually hear myself think. Lord, that was really loud. Rise and shine. Frey waltzes around the room. As you can see, I've done some rearrangements in this place. Hasn't it become lovely? I'll do something about the fog, too. Also, I've brought you clothes. Put your hands up. And voila! Now we're one of a kind. <laughs> Frey. Oh. Very fashion. Very fashionable. Yes. What are all these books doing here? Let's call it a mind library. You see, memories are stories from the past that we retell to ourselves. Once they're gone, you're no longer the person you used to be. But I'm drifting away from the point. Stories are meant to be kept in books, right? Many books make a library. There, you can find every memory, every feeling, every action you've done or consider doing. All possibilities are written down right here. Some stories are better off being forgotten, however. I have selected a variety of especially interesting memory journals for you. Oh, have you now? Feel free to read them if you feel like it. Even if your memory is still fresh, I believe your puppeteer would be delighted to know about more about the people you've associated with. Well, I can't say I'm not interested. The piano? Want to try it? Today I'll pass. Alright. How I met Aiden. And how I met ben Bennett and Huxley. I was eight. On one of the days I was home alone, they appeared out of nowhere at my doorstep. There was small, rhythmic knocking at first. Knock, 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 knock. Knock, 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 knock. Repeating over and over again. I knew I shouldn't open the door. Mother told me not to do so, no matter what. Good children don't disobey their parents. Knock, knock. When I was scared of the unknown, I crawled under the bed to hide beside, beside the monsters beneath it. I felt safe among them. As time passed, the knocking got louder and louder and louder until I couldn't bear it anymore. I was adamant on staying in, under the bed until morning came. Then I heard the door opening with a click sound. Someone came in. My room had no locks, so I ran to the bathroom. However, I was too slow. A figure in a hazmat suit covered my mouth, on the other hand curled around me in an iron hold. Shh, the intruder whispered. Don't make a sound. Another figure had a mask on, the one plague doctors from horror movies would wear. He spoke like a doctor, in, a, in an understanding, polite voice. We're sorry to interrupt you, but I'm afraid we have no place to go in this cold, and the other households we've turned to, ex to express quite an inadequate reaction to our humble plea for shelter. After being turned down so many times, we figured we'd force our way in. You see, we're so very tired. Do you live alone? The person in the hazmat suit asked in a harsh tone, hissing at me. No, was my simple answer, in a voice hoarse from fear. I thought of Umbrella Man and his quiet presence in the room, and how good it would be if he appeared sooner. He was nothing like these violent strangers. Mm, Alright. Are you good at keeping secrets, little one? The doctor asked. Mm-hmm. The only option I had was not an approval. Great. 
Bennett, dear, if you'd be so kind, do release the child. She is no threat. You're too trusting, the other grumbled. Am I? <laughs> the taller person let out a loud laugh, shining shivers down my spine. You see, I'm a doctor, he continued. Figures. However, my stay in this place is highly confidential, so I wouldn't like anyone on our tail. Please do respect that, and keep our stay here a visit, or keep our stay here a secret. If you don't, I'll kill your parents, Bennett said in a casual tone, as if it weren't a threat. Father doesn't come home these days, I replied, saddened by the fact. Sorry, just your mother then. That sells it, the doctor beamed. Now, now, little one, accompany us to the bathroom, for I'm so awfully hungry I could eat a human. The smaller man elbowed him. Ouch, sorry, sorry, that was a joke. A bad one. The doctor quickly backtracked. In the morning, I found the two peacefully sleeping in the bathtub, having eaten all of the soap and shampoo on the, cell on the shelves. <laughs> you know, for for breaking and entering, it, it's 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 kind of cute, but also sad that Charlotte had to go through that. The next day, they settled into the basement, and a week later, I was doing all kind of errands for the research, collecting bugs, buying years' supply of soap with the funds in my money jar and helping to carry out bags with unknown contents on a daily basis. Of course, I made sure Mom never ever went to the basement at night. Umbrella Man appeared weeks later, only to pat my forehead and reassure me that he'd keep an eye on them. Memory end. Well. Dang. Bennett and Huxley, you guys are messed up. What about Aiden? I was nine, so this is a year later. It was during Christmas when I hid under the sofa in order to catch Santa Claus with a rope and a bottle of chlorof chloroform. <laughs> okay. The one who came through the fireplace wasn't St. Nicholas, but a horned creature instead. Well, Santa did come down the chimney, but you flip the letters around. It's not Santa, it's Satan. Come out, mischievous one. I can see you, he called. Unwillingly, I had to comply, hiding the chloroform behind my back. You're not Santa Claus, I declared, a bit disappointed. I am widely known to be... widely known by the name of Krampus, the beast answered, proud of himself. So Santa won't come, I sighed, sulking even more. Santa Claus brings gifts to good children only. I come to punish those who misbehaved, the beast continued. But I'm a good girl, I declared confidently. And may I ask why you feel this way? Mom says so. Even though she barely sees you, how can she make that statement? Mom's always right. She also says not to talk to strangers, I added, pointing, pouting. In a swift movement, I brought the chloroform-soaked towel to the creature's face. Seconds later, he was sprawled on the floor, motionless. See, he took down Krampus. It's a pity you're not Santa Claus, I exclaimed, hovering over him. Slowly, I dragged the body down the stairs to the basement. <laughs> What's the commotion about? Two figures peeked out of the section room's doorframe. It was Bennett and a co-worker of his, Florence. <laughs> I'm just picturing this nine-year-old girl <laughs> dragging down fucking crap. This, this big fucking demon <laughs> there to, like... Punish her for being a bad child. <laughs> it's just poor forms of the towel. <laughs> so fucking hell, Charlotte. You brought friends. Why didn't you say so earlier? Ever since, ever since he found a bright yellow hazmat suit and was no longer called Biz B12, Bennett was constantly in a great mood. There were barely any signs of the moody person he used to be. Mind helping me a bit? I smiled, sweating. Sure, what do you want me to do with this? Dissecting, researching, eating, perhaps? Bennett asked mischievously. No, no, I want to become friends. How do you plan to do that? Florence gave me a worried look. I looked at the ceiling, as if there were answers there. Make him sign a contract, maybe? Perhaps I was a mischievous child, after all. Wait, 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 wait. Hold the phone. 
So yeah. So we're with Aiden is the Christmas spirit Krampus. And he was literally dragged into a relationship with Charlotte. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Perhaps you'd like to join me in reading Westwellshire. Uh, yeah. Fred chuckles. All right. I'm rereading an anthology of Greek myths. Have you read the story of Hades and Persephone? They say that Hades, the god of the underworld, captured the beautiful Persephone, the goddess of springtime. But I believe it was Persephone who captured Hades, and his heart and mind belonged to none other than her since the moment they, they met. Which was quite rare for a Greek god, considering. Even though the pomegranate seeds Persephone ate urged her to return to the underworld for half a year, she was allowed to live on the surface for the rest of the time. Just like you come back here only during the dream state. Or is this comparison too much of a stretch? I do tend to get carried away with words. Oh my, seems like someone's fallen asleep already. Sleep well, princess. <laughs> Day six. What day was it last time? <coughs> hey, are you alright? Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry. I just need to wash my face. That's all. Today, two, we'll get up, go to school, and go back to sleep. To bathroom. Onward. Felix? Where is Felix when I need him? Come on, man. Uh, oh, there he is. Oh, that's Bennett. D oh, that's what Bennett looks like. Hello, buddy. Or yeah. Oh, it's just you. Hi. It's rare seeing you without the mask. It's easier to blend in with the crowd in it and safer considering the environment I work in. Does your face still hurt? A bit, not much. Not to the point of being unable to sleep, anyway. Ever since Her Henry removed the eyes from my internal organs, I've been just fine. Apparently, these orbs don't like it when soap gets into them. You, you need to use a sink, right? Uh, yes, I've been copying up ink lately. Ink, huh? Maybe you should collect it. We can make a fortune on selling ballpoint pens. I mean, you're right. <laughs> Alrighty, I have to run. Gotta finish my business in the violent room before a game of chair starts. Bennett, seemingly satisfied with the fin his financial proposal, leaves the bathroom. I wash my mouth and face until the ink stains become barely visible. Now that's better. Alright, there's something I wanted to get before we go to school. Visit Felix, yes. Felix? Ah, there you are, buddy. What were you doing? Actually, wait, hold on. Before that, I, I'm i so curious. Huxley and Aiden have a heated discussion about something involving particles and dark, dark matter. Okay, so good. The, you cleaned the kitchen up. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys. Because you can bet I wasn't going to clean that up. Good morning. I know that look. Do you need something? Well, well, yes. Do you have a spare pair of gloves? Oh, what for? A friend. Well, not a mutual friend, but an unrequited friend, rather. Don't tell me it's that god guy. How do you know about him? Yes. He doesn't like germs, apparently. The god has mesophobia, huh? Why am I even surprised? Here you go. Thank you. Yes, yes, what a wonderfully helpful person I am. Now mind your business. See you later. Find C before class. All right, we will go, Charles. I'll just go forth. You know, just thinking, how crazy would... Be? So... Um... The oracles, there was like multiple of them, different bodies, I guess, and... That way they could contain all the personalities. What if what if Charles was just like a different like different body of of uh Charlotte? 
possible? Maybe. The trial will right all your wrongs, although you're already an angel. Yeah, I am, aren't I? Oh, how do I envy you? How do you envy me? Well, there's a variety of ways you can envy me. My looks, my hair, uh, the fact that I have interne interdimensional beings living inside of me and in my house. You can envy me in a multitude of ways. Charlie! Hello, Henri, my sunshine. Henri? Henri practically throws herself at me. A wide smile is plastered on her face. Excellent. I've missed you. Hey, hey, let's go feed the mad cats before class. The stray ones? So the rumor was true. Yeah, they're in the garden. Come on, let's buy them food. Although I forgot my wallet. Again. That's okay, I can buy it. Really? What a relief. Let's go, let's go. Alright, lead the way. Guess I'll have to find C later. But he could be in the bathroom. Um Quality for everyone sure. Was that was that always like that? I don't think it was. Can I take a photo of you? I want to frame it on my bedside. No. You're stinky. Uh, this is the garden, yeah? Go outside? Yes, I will go outside. <gasps> Mad cat. Mad cats are meowing and nuzzling against my feet. Yes. Wait, no, I have to buy I have to buy mag cat food, don't I? What if I He could possibly wait, is he could he be in the nursing station? No. Jeez, how many times do I have to tell you? It's forbidden to enter the principal room. Listen, just because I killed myself maybe three times. Um nothing venture, nothing gained. Axe is denied. Alright, well, at least I know the answer. Uh, it's in here, right? Greetings, lowly peasants. It is my it is I. Ya boy. Junk food. Oh, I barely have any money. That's okay. Let's just settle for the cheap stuff then. Acquired junk food. Hell to the yeah. The meal today is especially delicious. I don't know. Wait, we're C. Charles. Charles, where are you? Buddy. Buddy, friend, amigo. The light of my life. Love of my world. Or whatever it is. We're not going there. Or, but we are going here. The balcony, where that one girl killed herself. But, whoa, hold on. Comfort room. To provide a better experience without any interruptions, your body is perceived in fourth dimensional format in the comfort room. Talk without worrying about appearances. Chill without being anxious about being looked upon. Alright. Stop wandering around already. Henri, listen. Socialization is the key to see another day. That's threatening. I like it. Meow. Meow. Aw. This is adorable. The mad cats nuzzle against my hands. No need for formalities. I'm just a mere human. I bring out the snacks we brought. Today's special flavor is failure and impending doom. Mad cats hastily eat with eagerness. They, good cats. They died for our sins. Let's visit them the next time, too. Sure. Now then, let's go back and change for PE class, shall we? Uh, sorry, there's something I have to do before the lessons start. But I'm here. What other business can you have? Well, damn. It won't take long, I promise. Is that so? Well then, go on. I won't wait for you. Henri is a bit jealous. A jealous Henri is not the way that you want to live a, to see another day. See? Where are you, buddy? Where, where would he be? Would he be in the comfort room? Possibly. It's a bit disturbing to think I would appear as a pyramid to these people. Let's not disturb anyone. That's fourth dimensional perception for you. Everyone's a pyramid. Ah, I see. 
I don't want to disturb people. I want to comp I want to cause problems on purpose. Oh, he's right here. I love the girls talking to me on a lovely day. I'm so happy. Well, I'll save her because it's never going to happen again. Charles put down his books he was reading when he sees me. Hi there. Hello. Busy? Sort of. I'm gathering information on this world. My memories are incredibly out of order, which is a great inconvenience. But all I could find were illustrated manuals for express weight, loss, and a list of ways to become a billionaire by clicking pop-up ads. <laughs> Don't do that. There's also a collection of must-read classics that nobody will ever read. It hardly helped with the organization of my mindscape, was, but was an entertaining read anyway. Perhaps the school library isn't the place you should turn to. Yes, perhaps I should have taken the leaflets they were handing out on my way here. If you want a knowledge on sales and supermarkets, then absolutely. Oh, why don't I give you my notes? I hastily bring out the Book of Truth from my, la from my bag. It's just my theories and observations, though. They're a bit silly. Here, you can have it. Charles reaches out, only to stop halfway. You're giving away the Book of Truth? Charlotte. His breathing hitches. Sorry. I can't accept it after all. Why not? Ah, uh, it's because it's not clean, right? I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. How about I tell you everything I know? Uh, that would be kind of you. Then it's a promise. There's something I can give you in return. You don't have to, really. I want to. Here. Acquired a notebook from C. I write stories, you see. Perhaps you'll find it interesting. You can throw it away after you read it. Don't worry, I'll keep it. I, I almost forgot. I brought you these. I hand the gloves to C. You said you didn't like touching things, did you? C looks dumbfounded for a moment. Are these for me? Do you see someone else here? No, it's just... Ah, it's adorable. Thank you. You really hadn't... You really needn't have done so much for me. Don't say that. I'm happy to be of help to you. Sorry, I have to run. We have PE class today. So why are you running? You're going to tire yourself out before the class even begins, Charlotte. See ya, see. Farewell, Charles. Oh, hold on. C's notebook. One second. There's a text titled, The Story of Two Gods. Read it. Perhaps goddamn lutely. Long, long ago, long before the universe we was created, there were two. One was born with the power to create. A gift. The other was not. He only watched new creations come to life each passing day. So creator and observer they became. They, these were the names they gave each other. Every single thing became real the moment creator thought of it. And so he created, accidentally, chaotically, indiscriminately, while the observer, observer arranged his creations into structures, giving them order. That's how the world was born. However, their bliss did not last long. Even after every single atom in the world was perfectly arranged, the gifted one continued to create, threatening all order that came into existence over billions of years. So for the world to continue into existence, the creator gave up his own life. I'll give you my power, he told his friend. Kill me and become the keeper of the order in this world, he asked of his lifelong partner. The observer refused. How could he destroy the most important existence in the world? Please, the creator begged. Save me before I become chaos in its pure form. The observer refused until the very last moment. Until the creator completely lost his mind, consumed by the growing chaos inside of him. Unable to completely destroy him, the Observer sealed the creator along with the part of himself that cared for him deeply. That tiny fragment of him became this world's only god. The sealed world became the house, and the former creator's existence became scattered all over the place. Oh, so we're not even in... we're just in a different... Okay, that would make sense as to why everything in this world is so fucked up. It's because we're in a hellscape. I need to go to the second floor. Yes, that would probably be best. Uh, where would we be having PE? 
Oh, changing room, right. My locker is the last one on the upper right. I see. Something's off here, Seth. Hmm. Wonder what it could be. Should I check the other lockers? Should probably check the other lockers. Well, there are eyes all over the place, and apparently Bennett has eyes growing in his organs, which is strange enough as it is. There's a locking sound in the distance. Yeah? Of course there is. It's really locked. It must be that the teacher accidentally locked me in. Oh. Okay. Uh, 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 this is bad. The oddities push me to the ground. As I rip my body parts, as I rip apart my body parts, I cough out a considerable amount of ink black matter. Just what is <laughs> this? I'm suffocating. Isn't there somebody? Ink kept flowing and flowing from my mouth, completely flooding the room. In a moment, all went black. Gyre. Wake up, sleepyhead. Frey? Finally awake, I see. Just look at this warped reality bubble. The universe is, is expanding. Am I dreaming? Not this time. You're perfectly awake. But you're here. Do believe me. I'm as puzzled as you are. I see. They say going through the looking glass is the classic symbol for disassociating from reality. Does that apply to you too? I don't know. Oh well, maybe I'm teasing you too much. Anyhow, it doesn't look like we'll be able to, we'll be leaving anytime soon. I wish there was something to read. You're the type to read labels in food stores, huh? Might as well be. So, what shall we do? Feeling adventurous yet? Well, it's better than sitting here. Let's look around. Triple face mirror. Use? Sure. Oh, Fre Frey's just with me. Okay, cool. What to do? Uh, turn around. There's a red switch before behind the mirror. Use it? Yeah. Uh. Oh, hold on. Uh, <laughs> I I saw I I've said it before, but I love the portraits. They look so dopey. It's amazing. Okay, hold on. Double face mirror. Turn around. There's a white switch behind the mirror. Use it. Yes. Oh, that was the wrong order apparently. Oh, no. Wait, we're good. I, I don't know what just happened. But it certainly did. Which picture should complete the row? Um, prob hmm, probably number two, right? Oh, jeez. Hmm, isn't that Cattell's intelligence chest test? It seems fairly easy. I've passed one before. Then I'll leave it to you. It was that. Boom. Bam. How do I select it? Because it should, by all accounts, it should be number two. Then... Oh, I see. I think I see this one. Because it's one, and then there's two red lines, then there's three red lines. Okay, I'm... I've... Do, is there, like, something I'm missing here? Oh. There was another room. Enter number. Okay. Ah, okay. So two, one, one. 
Bad end. We're sorry, your IQ is too low for the next test. Fuck you. So two is obviously the answer for this. For this, it needs to be one. I mean, technically, if we're going symmetry-wise... I, I have no idea. Because obviously not one. Uh, I'll try four. Even though it makes no sense. Oh wait, let me let me take one last look at it. So we have it like this, turn around. Alright, you know what? We'll try it. Number four. So two one four. Confirm. Yep. Oh. Hell yeah. Got it. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, five, 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 six, nine, 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 five, two, 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 six, nine, three, five, 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 eight, seven, four, five, one, two, three. I will not remember that. I'm just letting you know now. Mirror to reflection room. Input number? Not yet. Hold on. Wait, are these just the same numbers? No, they're not. I swear, one of these... One of these is different. Do, do I have to pick the one that's different from the crowd? If so, then the only one I can think of is the top right room. Because this had one over here, I think. Yeah, this is the one that had 6999. Okay, this is not going to be fun. Okay, so now I've got that. I've got, I've got them all written down. Because I hate myself. Do I have to find one that, like, how they combine, maybe? Like, what makes what to make what? So I don't think that's happening. But maybe it's the order they're in? So I think it's, so technically it should be 115693. Maybe? No. What am I not seeing here? Because there's a hint here. I know there is. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. Hmm. What? Wait a second. Oh my fucking god. There's no way. Hold on one second. There is no fucking way. I... Oh my... It was staring me in the face the entire time. <laughs> oh my god. They they really made me work much harder than I had to. <sighs> Memory one, feminine. Go into the mirror? Sure, why not? Dear girl, I saw your eyes sparkle when you saw this dress in the making. Want to try it on? I don't think I'm cut out for dresses, I didn't. Oh. Why so? What I see before me is a fair young lady. Why wouldn't a dress suit you? Look, it looks like it was made to be worn by you. So wear it proudly. Okay, I'll try to. Also, you should let your hair grow. Wouldn't it look weird? Believe me, it wouldn't. You'll make a wonderful lady when you grow up. Memory end. What the... What was that? What was that? Hold on. Memory two, individuality. Oh, you're flattering me. No, no, it's my pleasure. What? Want to hear about Pythias again? Such a curious drone you are. Well, well, the Pythias, the ancient race. The females of our kind go by the name Freya. Males are called Frey. Were we always just called... Were we always just meat dolls, mere containers for the Oracle? No, we weren't. Never were. 
When the Oracle appeared, the world divided into two factions. The globalists, who wanted their minds to become one with everyone, and individualists, who were against that. We, the individualists, started the god hunt to get rid of the Oracle and globalists alike. Why, you would ask? To prevent the death of ego. Death of individuality would have meant death of all creativity and culture, and we wanted to prevent that by all means. But globalists were stronger. They outnumbered us and gave their egos for the Oracle to take on a silver platter. They have accepted the Oracle. That's when individualists started to commit soup mass suicides, refusing to give in. Our downfall began, began quickly, so we ran like cowards. Isolated ourselves from the world just to say ourselves to the very end. No wonder many went crazy. We became paranoid of every sound in the space we inhabited. So we built traps, mazes, puzzles, everything to hold back the intruders. I can't beg you not to hold grudges against any of us. We're a sick, sick nation. And I feel like the end is soon, my loyal, my loyal friend. Or perhaps it's already come, and all that was left were recordings of our former, glo former glor glory. Simulations of existence. Who knows? Perhaps that little misintruder will bring about our end. It's always something small that causes big things to happen. Remember, little drone. For living beings, the Oracle is no god. It's nothing more than a parasite of our, of our, of our minds. While it seemingly granted our wish to connect, it's what was it was what destroyed us. The irony is that it probably wasn't even aware of what it's doing. So that's the boy you've modeled my appearance after. Curious. Are they true? The things he said? Who knows? I barely possess any memories of my life before I woke up in your mind. That's why you can trust me, Miss Wiltshire. I am not your enemy. I want to believe you, Frey, but it seems like I don't know you at all. Well, it's true. Frey is just a parasite. Memory 3. Decomposition. Now are these Charlotte's memories? Or Frey's? We're back? Thanks, science. Charlotte? Hey, wake up. Don't play dumb. Uh, uh, oh, 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 God. She's decomposing? No, no, this can't be happening. Wasn't the Oracle supposed to be dead? You know, Miss Wiltshire? Yes? I had a thought there. Which may have also been your thought, but that's beside the point. Maybe Mr. Honecker has started distancing himself from you because he became afraid of you. Felix isn't a coward. Is that so? Then perhaps afraid is a strong word. He's just not sure it's you anymore. You've turned into a lump of meat right before his eyes. Wouldn't anyone have suspicions? Perhaps you're right. We can't go back to those days anymore. Frey sighs. It's all because you took pity on me. And now you've, you're doomed to face the consequences. That's all there is. Well, I mean, you're right. Now how do I get out of here? Uh, oh. Well, that was easy. Um... Particle Manipulating Mirror. Two effects available, it says. Use or misuse. Warping effect on. Oh, I I cannot believe I got that. I'm pretty sure I would have died. Gifting mirror, misuse. Stealing mirror, on. Lost anxiety pills. This is bad, Seth. Without them, it'll be hard to socialize. Got candy. Mirrors, oh. Wait, how do I... How do we get out now? Uh, uh, hello? I probably have to eat the candy, don't I? Tastes like chicken soup. That wasn't candy, that was bouillon. Questioning mirror. Misuse. The blah mirror. 
Use. Killing Mirror. On. The one time, I think, to not to misuse something. <sighs> okay. Use. Okay. Yeah, let's not lose the anxiety pills. Let's misuse this. Oh, okay. Now let's misuse this. Which period was earlier? The Mesolithic, the Paleolithic, and the Neolithic. I'm pretty sure it's Neolithic? Hmm. Weird. I wake up to so Oh, hey, we're back. Awesome. I wake up to someone opening the door. God! Oh, so you were here. As I thought, it was weird that you never appeared after your class. Where did you get the keys? Surprisingly, all the doors opened for me. <laughs> as, expo as expected from God. Is something wrong? No, why? You're crying. Oh. I must have startled you. Huh? Uh, why is it, I wonder? Maybe I'm just a little tired. Here. Boy stretches out his hand with a paper tissue in it. I felt red flowers bloom on my hands as I wiped my cheeks. What? The wounds are healing? Thank you, C, for coming to help. You're welcome. You should go ahead of me. There's something I need to take. Uh, Alright, take care. 